Hey everyone, I'm John Lynn, the founder and chief editor at Healthcare IT Today. We're excited to bring you another in our series of interviews with top leaders in health IT. And we have two special guests today. We have Joaquin Neto, he's chief strategy officer at Verado, and David Barden, he's head of healthcare at Clear. Welcome guys. Thank you for having us. Thanks John, super happy to be here. Yeah, excited to hear about this new announcement, but before we dive in there, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, Verado. Sure, I'll start. Um, Joaquin Neto, been in the healthcare IT industry for a long time, uh, 15 years probably. Uh, much of that time focused on the problem we're here to talk about today, which is knowing who's who. Um, and so specifically, Verado, what we're here to do is help you resolve your identity information across your whole enterprise. So uh, knowing who a patient is as they present in multiple different parts of your system, different settings across different systems, and uh, excited to get into details with you today. Absolutely. David, how about yourself and Clear? Yeah, David Barden, I lead healthcare at Clear. Um, I've been in healthcare for just a little over 10 years and uh, really excited to be here today with you. Um, Clear is the same Clear as you know from the airport, secure identity company, and what we're looking to do is similar to the airport and powering frictionless experiences, we're looking to bridge that directly into healthcare through various means, right? Help drive an interoperable identity, uh, really dealing with a lot of the fragmentation that exists in healthcare. So excited to be here um, and talk about Clear and Verado's partnership. Awesome. So before we talk about the partnership that uh, you're announcing here at Health, what are some of the problems patients and providers face with their identity today? Yeah, look, I think uh, identity is so foundational in healthcare. Um, it's pretty much required in every single healthcare experience you have, whether you're a workforce professional or you're a patient, right? And as you think about all the varying ways that you interact with the healthcare system, there are so many versions of yourself that exist. And it's frustrating, right, that you as a patient, for example, have to prove that you are you in so many different formats, so many different experiences, and not have that be consistent, right? If you've already answered a series of questions to prove that you are who you say you are, why not make that interoperable? Why not give you the opportunity to really uh, have your identity in your hands so that you can have a frictionless experience across all the things that you ultimately do um, I don't know if you'd add anything else on. Yeah, that no, I think that's spot on. And uh, you know, from from my perspective, we've been in this space trying to resolve many different versions of data about you as a patient across many different systems. And so today, healthcare is so uh, increasingly distributed. So there's lots of different ways to get healthcare. You don't just have one physician you go see to every week, and that means there's more data, more versions of your data. And it's harder and harder to assemble a truly complete and trusted view of data about you. Um, it, Interesting stats, uh, only 25% of millennials have a primary care physician today. And so they're out there shopping every time they need healthcare or going to their clinic. And so basically the point is data is just increasingly spread out. And what we're here to do is resolve that and create a truly trusted view of data that we can operate on as healthcare system. Yeah, the US spends roughly about like $4 trillion on healthcare a year. And a trillion of that is tied up to a lot of the administrative costs and things that effectively can be cleaned up, right? And I would argue that about a quarter of that trillion dollars really is impacted by identity in terms of how we can help drive the needle forward and help drive efficiencies, help drive, you know, cost, uh, you know, improvements for the care system. You know, healthcare has gone through a lot over the course of the last, you know, few years, especially with COVID. Uh, there's a lot of pain and uh, pain points that exist around spend, right? And so finding ways that you can still maintain the highest level of experience for a given patient or a workforce member while still improving the bottom line is really what we're ultimately trying to tackle here. Yeah, that's awesome. And it's the first time I've been grouped with millennials since I don't have a PCP either. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I like You're that. You're leading the charge. <laughs> I'm leading the charge of the problems with identity. That might be it. So, you know, Verado and Clear announced a strategic partnership. Talk to us about how that came together, Rookie. Yeah, well, we're, like I sort of said at the start, we're both in the business of knowing who's who, and we're coming at it from slightly different perspectives. So Verado, from a healthcare data management, HMDM infrastructure perspective, um, and Clear, really from the uh, patient identification ver verification perspective. Um, and when I think about why this makes so much sense, I think about just the experience that I want to have as a patient. Um, there's so many awesome digital tools that we have access to today. Uh, when I want to get care, I'd like to go log into my app or my provider's website. I'd like that to technology to um, for me to be assured that I know they know who I am, that I'm truly me seeking to uh, interact with my data. Um, and then when I get in there, I'd like to see all of my medical data right there. Um, I want to have access to my most recent lab results so I can see what happened or be able to schedule an appointment with a doctor. And so that's where these two things really come together very well. I need to know who you are and then I need to have this complete comprehensive view of your data 
so that we can really put the patient at the center of their care. Interesting. What would you add? No, I think that's exactly spot on. I think, you know, um, a couple of things that I would add, right? I think just in relation to our partnership, there are so many ways that the data can come through on the front end, right? So whether it's, you know, creating an account or resetting a password, something as simple as that, right? Or checking into the doctor's office. All these modalities of how you effectively come through, right? Uh, can really create a convoluted mess downstream. And, and Verado is, is instrumental in terms of its capability as far as orchestrating all of that data behind the scenes. But how can we effectively append a cleaner user experience on the front end and make sure that as the data is coming through, uh, that it's making it easier, for example, for Verado to do what it does best? Yeah. I mean, it, that's one way to create a consumer experience is partner with a consumer company. <laughs> that's, right. that's kind of what you've done here. Talk about what does Clear bring to the partnership? What's Verado bringing to the partnership? You know, like how are the pieces kind of integrate together? Yeah, I, we'll start with that. Um, so one one thing I mentioned without going into all the gore details, which I can get into sometimes. Sure. Um, but Verado, our our whole technology is based on sort of having trusted data at the center of the solution. So there's so many data quality problems inside of our EHRs. The way data is collected, it's just it's a hard problem and. Uh, you might have moved six months ago and your address in the primary care physician's office is different than in your you know, local hospital. Um, and there's all these data discrepancies that make it really hard to assemble a good view of a person. Uh, and so the way Verado has gone about this is we have this reference data approach that I won't get into, but it's all about having really trusted data to resolve who you are. Um, and so we bring that to the table, this sort of data set on the back end. Um, and then we've sort of been getting into this as you know, our partners are bringing us quality and trusted data on the front end. Yeah. And what would you add in, and maybe talk about who are some of the ideal customers for the solution? Yeah, no, I think um, to Joaquin's point, right, I think a lot of the care systems that we've seen, a lot of those that are effectively using Verado are looking to think about how can they help improve more of that front end. And that's really what Clear is trying to bring. I mean, our brand and everything we do really in the airport, it's all about consumer experience, optimizing for frictionless care is really what we're focused on doing. And so that's ultimately you know, what we're going to bring to this partnership is the, the real like math and science to how we can drive great experiences on that front end. Um, and drive greater conversion, greater, greater enrollment as you're looking to work through that process. I think right now as we're looking at the market, I mean, uh, I don't know what you would add to this, but I would say uh, healthcare systems in particular can really benefit from our solution. Uh, health information exchanges, right? I mean, if you think about trying to access a health information exchange, for example, a lot of times the way you get on those, right, is you need to effectively get a code that you're invited with by your primary care provider to get onto that. And here, right, like there's an opportunity where we can really meaningfully prove that you are you and with one single consent get you access directly onto that. So there's a lot of uh, work that we can do, but I think those two in particular segments are going to be really interesting for us. I don't know if you had anything else. Yeah, for else. sure. Health systems and HIEs are places we already have joint customers. Uh, is really part of the impetus for this. And then um, payers, we think we can add a lot of value there too, Absolutely. together, both organizations. Um, and even on the uh, public health side of, of healthcare, um, we think there's some interesting opportunity as people look, states look to engage their patients and their, their citizens in different ways, their patients in different ways. Interesting. Well, and, and there's a new laws about patient access that the HIEs are having to do, you know, to your point, you need to make it easy for them to be able to comply with those laws. That's yeah, really 100%, 21st century cures, the information blocking, that's, that's really what brought Verado into this conversation over the last few years. And we've had lots of organizations asking for help. How do I comply with, you know, not being an information blocker? Yeah. Um, and that's all driving a lot. It makes sense. So what are some of the benefits uh, that your customers are going to experience, or maybe even clear customers, from these combined or, you know, partnership? I could start. I mean, look, I think at the end of the day, uh, when we've gone into a given care system, for example, we'll typically find that they're using a plethora of different vendors behind the scenes to more or less package things together. I think with this partnership, we're really bringing in a really great bundled offering that we can present to the market that can really provide a much cleaner experience all the way from how the patient en enters through the door all the way through to the back end in terms of that orchestration of the data. So I would argue that you know we're really making a difference um, for the care system bringing uh, these two you know companies together 
and you know, making it simpler for them in terms of the buying process so that they're not looking to bring in 10 different vendors to ultimately accomplish what we can effectively do together. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I think there's, there's an end impact on the patient themselves, which hopefully we're going to make things easier and more pleasant, more secure for the patients. And then from a data quality perspective, we really think that having this end-to-end -end management of your identity it's going to allow healthcare organizations to have more trust in their data, um, be able to look, do a lot more with it. Um, and then the interesting thing is the operational aspects that David brought up is there's so much savings to be had by getting this information right up front uh, that you don't end up with all these back end costs. And so this is kind of a win, win, win for health systems to, to engage with this. Awesome. So where can people go to learn more about Verado? We've got some information up on our website, verado.com, um, talking about this partnership and details on the market segments and, and some of the, a lot of these use cases we've been talking about, that'd be the one place to go. Awesome. And how about Clear? Yeah, so clearme.com, uh, uh, healthcare, right, you'll find us and you'll see all of our work that we're doing on our page and then we're going to be working closely with the Verado team to cre create some joint collateral and how we're going to go to market together. So excited to share more on that. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for taking time to share about this uh, exciting partnership. And, you know, identity is core to so many problems in healthcare. So, you, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun to watch the, the partnership grow together. And thanks, everyone, for watching and listening. If you want to find more great healthcare IT content like this, be sure to check it out at healthcareitoday.com or search for Healthcare IT Today on your favorite podcasting application. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank John. Really appreciate it.